Good morning, world. I hope that you are well. We are all, well, some of us at least are a little sleepy, but that's okay. We still um, are well. And uh, <clears throat> there you go. That's uh, the day. We're here to play some fun RPG stuff and to entertain you guys and to mostly entertain ourselves. Uh, this story has taken some interesting turns recently, and I am excited to see where it all goes. Um, so, who started a union last week? I did. You did? Tis, you tried to start a union last week? The second How's attempt. And, and second the, more, attempt? The, the more successful of the two. Because I rolled yeah. a nat 20. Nat 20 is very useful. Okay. Coolio. Um, so, I was curious what everyone wanted to do this week. Um, we've got sort of a couple different plot lines in front of us right now and i'm curious what it is that you want to have happen and how you want that to happen um is this a week where we work on the union is this a week where we dive back into the dungeon who knows is it both is there a balance there that we reach i am curious by the way if there's noise around me that's random it's uh i apologize for it I don't know if you can pick it up, but I've got uh, someone is apparently cleaning the gutters on my house. So, yeah. Sorry about that. But what's the plan this week, guys? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to fight for? What do you believe in? Um, I think technically we have an obligation to get back in. You did agree to help Brukazak. And the other thing, too, is like the, um, actually, I'd say I have two motivations for it, because I have to go for the uh, kobold lady, and I kind of forget her name. No, uh, Nori, or? Nori, yeah. Okay. Um, and then, on top of that, I want to kill the witch. Very okay. good. Go for the kobold lady, you want to kill the witch. These are motivations. <clears throat> I'm down. Kill the kobold lady, go for the witch. Nope, other way around, dude. <laughs> well, you're all going to Aw, Shay. Shucks. Well, I yeah. opened the wrong game. Pardon me. Well, I swap over to your game. Um, okay. Fair enough. So you've got two motivations. Talk to kobold lady and uh, kill the witch. Uh, the witch, by the way, has been cursing... Uh, Grastic and people willy-nilly and seems to have something of potential value uh, that, pe that you guys are looking for. Who knows? Uh, ladies, what about you? What are Lyra... What is Lyra interested in? Um, I think we'd like to fulfill Nari's little uh, challenge, I guess, that she's given us. But at the same time, we have never, we've not been anywhere near the bottom of the tomb yet, so I do think following the witch might useful because we don't know how deep that may take us and that could lead us straight into the next goal so. true uh, we've got many many goals going on here i like it okay well that all sounds uh, mighty fine to me uh celia do you have a uh addition that you want to put in here um i think she kind of looking at the witch is probably the highest priority for her but at the same time, if anyone wants to not do that, she would be perfectly fine because she doesn't exactly want to go and jump right back to the dark water that can burn her area. Yeah, do you have a <clears throat> strategy for getting through that? Um, maybe, honestly, probably. we'll work something out. <laughs> we'll work something out. <clears throat> All right, works for me. So it sounds like we want to head back to the tomb. Does anyone have any errands or quick stops that they want to make before they head back to the tomb? Uh, purchases, probably. Okay, what do you want to do? Um, we need healing potions, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. I have 920 gold. However many healing potions that can get me, I will buy. Okay. Um, small, medium... Um, let's do Large. medium. Sure. Okay. Or the combination of whatever works. Yeah. Uh, do you disguise yourself to do this? 
Uh, good point. This will, will be with you. If you want. Let's see, they know all of us, huh? Mm-hmm. Hey, who was that? Well, uh... Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, well, we could steal them. Because oh, I that's... have invisibility and I have Misty Step. So... You know what? <laughs> I'm not for it, surprisingly. Ah. <laughs> uh, don't get That's me new. wrong. <laughs> you are totally okay to do so, and like, but I think morally, I think that is where I kind of draw the line. Stealing? Really? Hey, you know, <laughs> I, know. I love the way you said that. <laughs> There's been so many other lines. Like, like stealing, really? <laughs> this you murdered a man in cold blood and harvested his organs to sell, but he was already dead. <laughs> he was just going to go to waste if I didn't. <laughs> this is like you have been bribing people constantly. It's yeah. just a weird line to draw. <laughs> okay, well, to be fair right? The bribery thing I view as a more honest thing, right? Because bribery is an above-the-table sin, right? Like, when you bribe somebody, both parties know what's going on, right? When you steal something, if you were to steal it, like, with, like, sort of the knowledge of stuff, like, for example, Indiana Jones, I'd say is a good example of somebody... All right, well, I, okay, that's a terrible analogy considering you people probably still haven't seen it, and I am still kind of upset at that. By the way, uh, Matt, they lied. Both of them haven't seen that, and I'm going to out that sin now. Like, so, but, um... Shameful people not knowing an 80s American culture. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, either way, I feel like stealing with, like, knowledge is fine. Right, like, it's like the treasure hunter, like, I'm going into the tomb, and I'm going to steal the ruby and get out. But stealing without, I guess, knowledge is a little bit weird. Okay, uh, so then, is your intention then to go in and bribe the person? To, I, I would say it? so, hopefully. Okay. I have 20 gold extra, um, so. I'll uh, give you a thousand gold so you can do more of them okay yeah we'll just buy them out at first and then see. Just, buy, just buy them out get all of them <laughs> as yeah. many as you can i have no idea how much 1900 <laughs> gold gets but hopefully it's a good so portion greater healing potions at this point cost um 250 gold oh yeah uh, easy all right we'll stop i can um, give you another um 100 <laughs> Okay, flat 2,000. Just to be very clear, 2,000 will get you one superior healing potion if you want to get that instead of 10 gold. <laughs> Greater is 44 plus yep. 4, 2. Honestly, I think, I think we'd be okay with like the littlest potions because most of the time we just need to stay standing rather than get that back up to full. Fundamentally a problem with D&D. &D. Um, no, uh... <laughs> Let's see the littlest potions are. Good. I think actually, I, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, if I were you guys, I would buy the greater, not the littlest one and not the one larger. Because fundamentally, greater is large enough that there is a statistical possibility that after you get up, you will survive one more hit. Um, yeah. Whereas the littlest healing potions, there's, I, I would say, almost a certainty that you will not. Uh, yeah. okay. 2d4 plus 4 caps out at, sorry, 2d4 plus 2 caps out at 10. And like, in a, a turn that I do less than 10 damage is pretty rare. Um, yeah. A turn right. that I do less than, I don't know, 44 plus 4, uh, 20 damage? That's not rare, yeah. So, you know, the interesting we... concept for a D&D &D character would just be a tank that runs in chugging healing potions. Like, a juicer? <laughs> like, like Bane, pretty much? Yeah, pretty much. But I mean, like, both technically, both if you chug enough of them in a turn, like, that is that is technically a tank. <laughs> if you if you reflavored the healing potions to be coffee, and then they just never slept. <laughs> <laughs> Gives coffee a lot. So healthy! So healthy! Sorry. 
but yeah no so i think like the greater ones are probably the better because like the greater one's not like the big big one it's just the big her one right 44 plus 4 yeah. is there anything stopping us from buying a grip of the small ones and just combining them like in in larger bottles do we have larger bottles uh, i mean they're less cost effective but sure Oh, are they really? I think we just go a little bit more cost effective on it. We'll just get the greater ones, keep it simple, so that way we can have a good chance of surviving if we have to down. Them. I think you know, Marcus, I think you make a good point, but I think that um the rule is that a healing potion is a certain size of liquid that you can consume in a certain amount of time. So mm. two lesser ones will be will take you you can do it, but it will you won't be able to do it as a bonus action anyway. Greater is uh, uh, more concentrated, not not yes. Double the amount. Okay, that makes sense. It's not amounts; it's it's constant because they literally require different ingredients. Yeah, let's do uh, greater than. But I am I'm going to give you six hundred instead, so we can get on to uh, two more. Uh, uh, and so the person who runs the shop is going to expect a, a thirty GP bribe. Uh, Sounds good. Yeah. I should have that. Yeah. But before uh, Zerial puts it on the table, uh, Tis will kind of wave it, like, stop him, you know, like, stop his hand, uh, and look shopkeep dead in the eye, and not say anything. Um, yeah, there's actually, uh, like, a wall between you and the shopkeep, and the shopkeep's not making eye contact with you. <laughs> I try to step over so that we are, what, what kind of wall, like, with, with, uh, <laughs> with, like, slats in it or something, like a window, or? Yeah, no, there's no window, actually. They just, um, like, you put your money... It's almost like an automated system. You put yeah. your money on the table with your order, and then they hand out healing potions. But there's a wall on, on the table, too. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's like... So there's, like a, a, like, a gate or something like that. Like a... What do you call it? Not a gate. Um, it's like, like an a ice cream van. Like a turntable, right? You put your money and your order on the turntable. The turntable turns, but everything around the turntable is... Um, wall and then they put the potions on there and they turn it back but they don't they don't see you but they know it's us uh yeah they've got security cameras can i um can i look through the th through the turntable can i see them like yes this you want to bend down up? and look up at this person i'd like to yeah their back is to you they're mixing up your potions i'm just gonna put my hand on his shoulder and i'm gonna say no no okay. hold on i no. i get it but this isn't right. Um, I'm gonna like shout to them. I'm not gonna do it on stream, obviously, but uh, I'm gonna like call to them. Like, hey, turn, turn around. Oh. Um, sure. Yeah, the uh, human turns and looks at you. Shrugs, goes back to work. Thing. <laughs> Just we won't even have to deal with them past a certain point. Remember, our job is to undermine them, so we just deal with it for now. Uh, I'll give you, uh, what is it, 30? I'll give you 50. Sounds good. Cool. Uh, if I did my math right, let's see, that's... Uh, 2,500? 2,500? Yeah, okay. Uh, so that's 10 greater healing potions for 2,530 gold. That's a really good deal, guys. Nice. Uh, we have four people. What's four into 10? Like, you have two extra. Three, yeah. three, two, two. Okay. Uh, who wants to take the three? Probably Tess for one. Probably uh, the rogue who has 23 health. <laughs> True that. <laughs> probably a good idea. <laughs> I'll be still knocked alive. out before I could use it. Sorry. So, it probably would not. I'll be knocked out before I could use it. <laughs> Well, I mean, to be fair, you can kind of, like, play the role of battle medic, because you're going to be staying uh, further away from the enemies. That's true. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, um, yeah I don't mind. Yeah. Uh, and the greater healing potion is how many d4? 4 d4? 4 d4 plus 4. Okay. I just read it. AKA 8 to 20. Look at my cool math. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, should we head into the ship? Works for me. Do we have a macro pack? Or greater? Oh, so I set it up as a weapon. This is like the brilliant thing that I do for basically oh, sure. all of my healing is you can just essentially like I could even set it as like healing damage because it allows you to specify the type of damage. Yeah. <laughs> so second wind is just healing damage. Uh wait, what is the greater? Is it forty four plus four? Plus four. Okay. How many do we have? <laughs> Twelve. Ten. You Sorry. have you have three, Tiss has three, uh Lyra and I have Okay, cool. Sorry. <laughs> right, back to it. Um, so you've got two entrances to the tomb. Which entrance to the tomb do you want to use? Um, which one takes us downstairs to the trash pile and the um, church? Sure, the main entrance. Yeah. Before we go, actually, do we want to try checking out the door that we've never checked out, or that we've never opened? Maybe we've got a little mm. more, uh, yeah. maybe we're... Yeah. Although, we did say to Brooke that that we'd be back in, like, a couple hours. Yeah. Next time. Uh, can you elaborate for me which door you were thinking of that you have never touched, or never uh, opened? Three pathways at the entrance of the tomb, the main entrance. Uh, there's mm -hmm. the the mushroom folk uh, side, the skeleton side, and then the one that has never been opened by us, at least. Yes, indeed, it is. Um, yeah. So, uh, no one's really working on it right now. Um, so you guys go over and look at it. Um. The door is part of the stonework uh, and very, very filled with uh, designs and creatures looking things. You see things that you guys are now experienced enough dungeon delvers to recognize as um, a, uh, some sort of goblinoid figure leading armies, which you would believe to be Akarut, um, or at least one of the depictions of him. And uh, it is, uh, it's just, it's made of stone and no one seems to have been able to get it open. Uh, it's got something going on. Uh, do you want to try to open it or what's your intention here? It's like a stone thing, that, a stone face that's in place in a wall that looks like a door. If I recall, we had tried using brute strength and it didn't work. Um, when you were level one, that is true. Oh yeah, um, sure, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so you try to brute force it open. Athletics? Strength? Uh, athletics, yeah. Eight. Yeah, you know, um, it's definitely not a matter of strength. You were right not to want to roll strength. It's, it's, there's something that's keeping this thing... It almost feels like um, there's maybe a lock or something, but on something that you can't see... So it would be impossible to pick. Or... Wait a second. Hold on. Um, does casting Arcane Lock dispel Arcane Lock? Uh, no. Casting Knock dispels Arcane Lock. Oh, damn. Okay, sorry. Um, well, I have Dispel Magic. But it's a third level spell, so I think I'd want to do Detect Magic first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so you want to ritually cast Detect Magic? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, the door is not magic. Interesting. I mean, it could be like a password type thing. Because, I mean, like, and this is literally <laughs> just me reading off of Arcane Lock, which I have, and it's the only reason why I'm suspecting it might be similar. But, like, uh, it says that you can use a password for it. It would so. be pretty funny if we just started yelling <laughs> random words at this door to see cool. if it opened. I mean, we could try. <laughs> <laughs> above, above the game, I think it's elsewhere in the tomb, if I had to guess. True. Yeah, might be a switch. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. Should probably get to the witch anyways. 
Yeah. Main entrance then, I, I think. Okay. Uh, so you fight your way through the skeleton room. Um, and uh, make it down the stairs to uh, our first temple here. Uh, walking around the old corner. Uh, going past where you see... What are people's passive perceptions, actually? Oh, less than sorry. Uh, nine. Fifteen. Uh, okay. Celia, uh, you walking down this um, area for the hundredth time notice a um, <coughs> panel uh, in the wall that has always been there probably, but you've never noticed before. It's a little bit um, off uh, center, uh, just past where the sphere trap is. Um, uh, right about uh, here. Uh, it just seems like it's a little bit out of order. Sorry, can you ping that again? Okay, I'll draw everyone's attention to it, and can I like inspect it to see whether it's something you push or something that's got an inscription on it or something like that? Yeah, roll an investigation check. Uh, yeah, it's something that you pull, um, and uh, the reason you're noticing it now is because someone has probably pulled it before. Um, but you don't see any bodies or anything like that, but you see a little bit of, like, displaced dust. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell the group that information, looking at Tiss, because Salya is not about to pull it and get scales on her face again or something, so. I'll pop off the divine sense. Mm -hmm. Uh... Nothing. Yeah. It's a good. It's a good noise. <laughs> um. <laughs> nothing there. But south of you, sixty feet, you sense something. South. At this point, we're we're facing. North, uh, south of me, relatively, or down? Or like, okay. Is it approaching us? Nope. Uh, that's a later problem, I guess. Uh, I pull, I pull, uh, yeah, I pull down. Yeah, I mean, this is just, it's a pretty minor thing in some ways, but I like showing that you missed this the first time around, but there is a secret door here that connects back to the temple. Huh. Uh, nice. You pull it open and there's a connection back to the temple. Pretty minor thing, right? Not super useful, um, but uh, is interesting to see. Could be useful in the future. You never know. <laughs> All information is useful. Yeah, that's how I feel. That's definitely how Sally feels. Clearly. Shame we have to kill your uh, Sphinx, though. <laughs> I really don't want to kill the Sphinx. <laughs> the expression. Just, I love that. Like, just the chains and stuff. <laughs> it's okay. We'll only kill her. You can have the head. No. Like a nice coat. What would I do bag. with the head? I don't know. What would I like, do with that? Would I make a helmet? That sounds that great. Would pretty, that would be pretty badass, not gonna lie. <laughs> they have <laughs> dead multiple times. They have human <laughs> faces. Yeah, I was gonna say, they have, Marcus is right, they have human heads. That's horrific. <laughs> <laughs> so team, what's the plan? <laughs> I guess we go further in before we start wearing people's faces. <laughs> You gonna ignore the divine sense you popped off? 
Oh yeah, Marcus. Yeah. Uh, you you say down meaning. Up. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you said down, and I for a second I thought you meant um. No, not below you. Sorry. So. Why down? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then northwest of us, uh, that is unexplored. Is that is that. Northwest. Oh, yeah. what map are you guys on? Not the right map. Uh, what is unexplored? No, uh, that's the staircase down. Okay, that's where we're down heading. to the direction. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I think we're. Sorry, I'm just gonna. I'm more comfortable revealing more to you guys now than I was before. I'll reveal everything that I know you can see. There you go. Voila. That should help a little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, it's it's south is what you noticed. But. Uh, yeah. I gotta imagine it's the. Dead. Um. I I do tell everyone else though. Oh, there's something. I'm going with mom. Uh, d does anyone else see the macros in in the macro tab? The list, oh, no, the no. dotted list. Okay, so when I when I said macro, I didn't mean literal macro. I just yeah. added it as if it was a weapon. Oh no no no! I I just added some, or I added some to mine. I don't know if it shows up for everyone else. It doesn't show up for everyone else. Okay. Only I can make things show up for everyone. Okay. Um, but I can't see what you did. So. Well, I have macro. There you go. Useful. <laughs> uh, so what's your intention here? I think we're heading down, assuming it takes us to the trash pile and the trash. Yep, sounds good. Okay. Heading down. Making your way to the trash pile. Yay, trash. Uh, it's been relatively quiet in general during your trip. Um, better... That's ominous. Yeah. <laughs> haven't seen a lot of people. Um, a lot of the earlier stuff has been relatively cleared out. This trash pile is actually gone now. So calling this the trash pile room is, is fair still, but it is the former trash pile room. Uh, and then I assume we head south into the... Okay. South into the Beholder room. You're going to go through the double doors and around. You're heading back down to where you came, basically. Oh... Uh... We, I think, are, are we going directly to check on Brookazak? Because we told them to stay with Faith. Fine, let me check. That's good by me. Yeah, I think that would be the logical thing to do. Sounds good to me. So we hop down the... Uh, we hop down the it? shaft. And head down the icy room and the wall that tried to squish you. And then make your way back to the machinery. Uh, Celia, do you want to, st or do you want to go in? I guess. Uh, no, I definitely don't want to go in. Um, I'll stay in the corridor. <laughs> okay, but so. I'll uh, I'll be listening if I can. Okay, in the corridor, but listening sounds good to me. Asma might want to worry too. You want to wait too? I, mean, I chose to go in there, so I think I'm not too bothered by it. Hmm. Certainly works for me. Let's see if we Yeah. Uh so you head in and fate floats over to you and does that once over where it just sort of eyes glow forward and you see this beam of light that just goes up and down you and searches you. Hello, Fate. Yes. You have an inquiry. Uh, did you happen to see another um, lizardborn come through here? Your question has no meaning. Hmm, okay. Um... There is a lizard folk, a large, strong lizard folk by the name of Brookazak that we told to come here. 
Um, did he come here? No. Oh, shit. Okay, thank you. Uh, Tiss will turn around and go back to the hallway. Uh, he didn't come here. And Tiss will shrug, but like, I, I don't shrug. But the, um, I guess gesture. Other side of the hallway, maybe? Where we fought the... Uh... Oh, that's where we met you, actually. Oh, when we got ambushed. Yeah, that's a good point. I think so. You did tell him to turn right, though, didn't we? I thought I did. Hmm. I mean, I'm sure he's fine. He's probably oh, off doing his own thing. Uh, should we check the other room, or just kind of proceed on our own business? Really hoping to have him around for the witch. I feel like he would have made yeah. short work of. Well, <laughs> there's one way to test our new metal. I know that uh, we've all had significant upgrades, which is awesome. So I'm sure we'll be fine on our own. The other oh. thing, too, is we're kind of under a time limit because the more we leave the lich, not the witch, witch with an L, um, he gets more powerful. So if we stick around looking for Bruckazak all day, we, we'll probably make a mistake in the long run. Oh, did you all find out about that too? That the witch left the tomb? Akaru, it's, it's Akaru, right? I don't know, man. You let him out. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> he's he's I, your pal. I recall you being right next to me and not <laughs> stopping him. Well, he didn't thank me. He thanked you. <laughs> <laughs> and as I recall, I had a glass hand, so I wasn't exactly doing any of the heavy lifting. <laughs> it's, it's me being a diva. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we do have to deal with that as well. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, we should get after the witch. Um, Lyra, Celia, do you, do you have any preference i think going for the witch is good the plan sounds great let's go okay <laughs> um cool 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 okay sorry i tried to start setting something up for you guys but then ran out of time uh okay cool 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 um let's get back to where you guys are cool okay um so you guys start making your way back to where you were uh and around the corner and uh back up the thing let's see blah blah blah, blah. yeah cool you're in good shape and i have to do our stair trick uh grass stick you you ready with your shield buddy yes okay you're gonna stand on the other side of the staircase I'm going to stand on this side, and you're going to stay right in line with me. And we're going to go up. Okay. Right, right in step with me, or else we're going to get uh, paralyzed. But if I'm looking the other way, how do I tell what's in step with you? Uh, don't, don't look the other way. Just keep the door against the wall and... and... He seems very confused by this. Object permanence is not something he has totally grasped yet. Cool. Um, wait, what if I just, like, I'll watch to make sure that we're keeping in step with Tiss, and I'll hold your hand, and we'll go in time, okay? That'll oh, that's still work. A bit... Okay. <laughs> We'll do that. Okay, Tiss and uh, Celia, why don't you both roll, um, uh, I think, dexterity checks here. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, that's no a problem. save. But... That's fine, you're a wizard. Um, you guys make it in time and uh, find a way to get up the stairs without uh, Grastic uh, losing track of what's going on, and the shields are held between you guys. And as a result, you guys are quite protected as you make your way up the stairs. And deeper into the tomb. 
sake. <laughs> Excellent work. Okay. Um here we go. Let's get into the exploring of new stuff. Bam. This is 31. I should stop avoiding things. Okay. Oh, nope. You solved this already. Yes. Wham. The coast near the river um, extends, and the river starts to pick up speed. Seems like it's faster than it was before. Well, that's great for me. <laughs> um, I'm thinking this time to just save time. Uh, maybe I should just cast Gaseous Form on myself. And then Two. I can just fly alongside you and I won't get burned. Well, I think the issue arises with not only you but test as well because if the river is like truly as like rapid as it sounds heavy armor is not going to do that well hmm. that's true yeah it'll be a nice paperweight at the bottom of the ocean but <laughs> I can, Wait, actually I no swim. you're a fish <laughs> yeah you're a fish yeah kind practically I, I, I can swim uh in heavy armor it'll be harder <laughs> I mean, you could take off your heavy armor and give it to me, and then I could gaseous form myself, and then this wouldn't be a problem. But you would have a lower AC. Yes, yeah. And down here, I... Yeah. yeah. We're at the beach or something? Different story. Down here. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to metagame here for a really interesting, specific question, but I'm going to metagame IRL. How is tar made? How is what made? Tar. Heating? I have no idea. Yeah, no, I, that's why I'm looking it up too, because I have no idea too. Uh, let's see. Petroleum it's tar. Black pudding. That's how it's made. Made of thick oil. Okay, usually it's made by heating coal inside of a chemical apparatus. Interesting. It can be produced from petroleum, peat, or wood. Okay. So. I was thinking technically it may be possible to make like you know like in those Tom and Jerry cartoons where they have like a little straw that they <laughs> kind of breathe under when they're going into a lake yeah like That's perhaps cool. that but like oh. a helmet right yeah like a watertight uh, diving helmet yeah because I noticed that we are right by the uh, burned down house which I assumed would probably have stuff that we can make into tar. Although, I'm not sure how effective it would be against the currents. It would at least possibly help. <laughs> we also don't know that we have to cross yet. Because we don't. Oh, true. Yeah. The, the other side is, yeah, it ends, but. We'll go to yeah, should we go as far as we can without uh, crossing and then see what happens? It, it stops right now. as far I... as you can without crossing. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Oh man, um, okay. Um, which way is the river flowing? Uh, it's flowing uh, the direction you are headed. Uh, AKA north. Is it, um, mm. is it flat? Like, Meaning? Are there any uh, falls? Uh, there are some rocks in it, as I think you can see over here, that cause some rapids. But uh, it's relatively flat. Um, that's a different thing. Can I cast spells while concentrating on a spell? Yes. Or oh, okay. You just can't have two concentration spells at the same time. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take Dreamer's Thorn out and uh, stick it in the river and see how far down it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to like lie down on your belly to get to the bottom. Uh, you do get to the bottom, but you have to stick your arm in. It's about um, 
eight or eight feet down on the coast and probably deeper in the center. If we, if we went over to the other side using gaseous form, mm -hmm. uh, then you guys threw me a rope. Then we could use that so that you didn't get like swept away and you could just like hand over hand go through the river. That's not a terrible idea. I, I feel Thank somewhat. <laughs> I, I'm somewhat <laughs> confident that I could swim, but it's so deep. I don't know about everyone else, and then that totally eliminates the possibility of uh, carrying people on shoulders. I think. Yeah, better safe than sorry as well. And then we also don't know what's on the other side. Uh, fifty feet True. each, I think, depending on the pack that you get. Yeah. And depending right. on how much you've used it. I don't have think it is that, like a square, a little more than a square. Okay. Just to that. <laughs> um, so I was gonna say a square. square. Square is forty, isn't it? Yeah. We even have rope long enough for that plan. No, not in. I don't even think in the slightest. Uh, how fast is the current? Enough to sweep someone away if they. Definitely. It's definitely a deterrent. Right, it's definitely an obstacle. We could try to Tom Sawyer it. <laughs> like, just make, make a build. raft. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, we literally just build a raft and hold on for dear life. Pretty sure that's how it's done. I am. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> no way. That, that would kill me. That would definitely kill yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's okay. the other thing. So, you're probably gonna hate the other idea that I have, but um, a barrel with a <laughs> hole in it. <laughs> Because, I mean, if we could make tar, realistically, it would both seal the raft, and we'd be able to, if we found a barrel near the house, we could seal off the barrel. I mean, if we have torches, we have pitch. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's true. <sighs> but that's, uh... yeah. And barrels float. Oh. And worst comes to worst, you they... can always use gaseous for it. Yeah, do they always float with, like, a tiss in them, though? Oh, with a tiss now. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I, think I would just <laughs> have to swim. But uh, it, it's it's terrible of me to say this, but I'm thinking we tie you down in the barrel on the raft, and then we all cling on to the raft for dear life. <laughs> See, we'll be on the outside clinging on for dear life. You'll be safe inside your little barrel. Oh, There's yeah, that sounds great. The barrel the outside is the more raft out of you. What if you drop the barrel in the water? Well, then you just I would die it. in my little barrel coffin. <laughs> but it's a neat burial. <laughs> like, it's efficient. <laughs> Can you not see oh, the Oh, well, if there's anything that I want, it's to be efficient in death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, is that what the character acts about? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, Mochi was pretty efficient. Like, he evaporated into dust. <laughs> Like that is as efficient yeah, I as he breathed can get. in. <laughs> exactly, and he carries a piece of you. Or if I if I get asbestos poisoning from Mochi, <laughs> <laughs> probably will. <laughs> so we have before us uh, waters that are rushing. They will physically hurt one of your uh, allies to touch, uh, and one of you is a apt uh, a de an apt swimmer, but wearing heavy armor, which will make it much more difficult. Um, and then the other two of you are sort of neutral in this. Um, we also have to get somewhere, but we don't know how far we have to get, um, which is a little bit of a trick for that as well. Uh, so what's the intention here, guys? What do you want to do? I'd like to swim to the other side. I, I just want to know what's there for So we at least know what we're trying to get past. Sorry, do you mean across or to the other side, or like down? Um, northeast, further northeast. in the direction that we're trying to go, yeah. Excellent. Which um, way? Which way is the river, the river flowing? North northeast. Oh, okay. That makes it better. Uh, also, if we have pythons, we can set up broken pythons along the wall. Um, I oh, assume we do. Maybe not, but we only have like one tile. One what? Oh, one tile's oh. worth. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be super close together. It just has to be enough to tie the rope to. 
So right now, Tiss, your intention is to swim ahead? Yeah, but I'm feeling like I might want to get rope tied to me. You should okay. uh, adopt the heavy armor, too, probably. You think so? I... Yeah. I mean, we'll um, keep it safe for you. But what will keep me safe is the question. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have my shield. I mean, I can, I can come with you and Gassius form myself across. That would leave you uh, on the I'm others. I'm not entirely comfortable with the idea of you going alone. That would give you a fly speed. You could, you could go and come back, like it would last that long. Yeah, it lasts an hour, so. Which she moves really slowly. She moves ten feet. Oh. Yeah. Okay, uh, Tiss is taking off the armor portion of their armor, leaving on their, their vestments. Um, okay. Uh, somebody tie a rope to me. Or I'll, I'll tie it, rather. But somebody hold on. <laughs> All three of us will have to hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's Tiss and the current, we'll be, uh... Yeah. Tiss sans his armor. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. You now have a rope tied around you. Are there stalactites along the coast? Yes. Um... I imagine not close enough that I could tie it to the edge and, and to make it across. No. Uh, the it is described as unnaturally smooth. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go in then. Um, I don't think we have enough rope last to. Um, but yeah, I spend the five minutes to doff. I dive in. Okay. Yeah, uh, can you roll an athletics check for me? Uh, you are not at disadvantage because you are not wearing heavy armor. Beautiful. Uh, sorry, that's actually a 22 for you because you are Chalestrian. Hey. Oh, yeah, uh, nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, you tell me where you want to get out. Um, uh, before I get too far, I'd like to swim the opposite way and test how hard it is to swim against the current. Uh, really, really hard. Excellent. Okay. Um, am I close enough to the rocks to the rocks to grab onto them before I get too far? Sure. Okay, I'm grabbing onto them, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna yell out to the group over the like slight rapids. Uh, it's really, really hard to swim against this. I don't know how comfortable I am. Getting... Can I see the coast on the other side? Uh, what's your dark vision range? Not. I, I don't have. Okay, then no. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to throw a torch as far as you can or something like that? No. I imagine. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll shout out. Oh, yeah. I have a solution. An easy one, too. Mm -hmm. uh, pineapple. On That's my shoulder easy. or something? Or? Uh, Looks like a football. Fortunately, uh, not pineapple the ferret, I will temporarily for I guess, like, you know, since I haven't summoned him today, mm -hmm. turn him into pineapple the hawk. Mm. Looks there, looks uncomfortable. Raises its wings <laughs> and sort of raises, like, a hawk brow, looking at you quizzically. Wait, for flavor, can he just be, like, basically a ferret's body, but with hawk wings? Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what he is. Beautiful. <laughs> like, I just kind of messed up a lot of the lines. Like, I'm not, like, that great at spell casting. Like, potions are my element, but, like, spell casting, I'm kind of like, he's like, okay. And then, like, I'm just like, well, what if he was a ferret? But no, nah, we need wings. All right. Screw it. Oh, God. Poor pineapple. Honestly. He suffers indignantly. I mean, don't <laughs> say Sort of asking, what do you want? Uh, I will scout ahead with Pineapple the Fair. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, should we pull Tiss back in? Uh, first. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, who's, to, uh, who's helping with this? Is everyone helping to pull Tiss back in? Yeah. Uh -huh. He didn't. didn't yeah. Uh, I thought sorry, about yeah. that after I, I jumped in. <laughs> With my yeah, armor no. off. It took me five oh, minutes yeah, to get so, my armor off. So, so, sorry, but <laughs> but hey, really? like the water felt nice, right? Like you were no, saying it, that you like the water. It was really. Celia, I've got bad news for you. 
This is covered in dark water. It stings like acid when you touch him. Causing 10 points of damage. Oh, man. Oh, what do you want from me? You're helping a guy touch <laughs> literally anti cellulose water. <laughs> I'm just gonna like scowl at the chest and like bandage my oh, burns oh. with like the strips of sheet I have. Oh, lay on here. <laughs> 10 points? That's not. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do 10. Okay. Tis heals you back up. Oops. Thank I'm you. Down. I will wait until I'm there. dry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wait until you try, please. Fair enough. Good call. If you throw a bucket of water on it and it burns, it's, it's a witch. There's no getting around that. Even Dorothy knew that. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't need a pair of ruby red slippers. Nah. <laughs> um, so your fair has a perception of plus three. If you want to roll a plus three check for me. Uh, I have no idea what that looks like. 1d20 plus 3. Okay. Uh, what's this? Can I put my oh, armor no, on while they're scouting? Alright, hold up. Uh, Can I uh, put my armor on while they're scouting? Yeah, sure. 15. Nice. Uh, yeah, so about, let's see, was that 40, 80, 120, uh, 160, 200. About 200 feet down. Uh, your ferret sees that there are two coasts. Uh, one on the north side and one on the south side. The south side seems to have um, uh, rocks on it. It also has a giant spider that is dead. Uh, it looks like it was stabbed with its own leg that was ripped off. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's not horrific. Work of Zuck. Gotta be broken. Hmm. So we have 200 feet to go. And that's some strong currents. We could use we the could... momentum to get us up against the shore. <laughs> that makes sense at all. You know what? As long as I don't drown, I have a way of. <laughs> Okay, I like how I have to preface that, but um, as long as I don't drown, that I have a way of getting up on that shore, guaranteed. But I have to, like, not drown or be knocked unconscious before I get there. And it's eight feet or deeper. Yeah. We could I, like, just, um, hmm? like, come back when the currents aren't so strong, because it got stronger, so surely it will get that's strong later. Well, I think it's like the rocks are like because essentially it, currents. I don't think like work on a time schedule, unless it's like ocean currents, but that's different. Um, I think it's just because like the rocks and the geography is kind of leading downhill. So oh maybe yeah yeah. Are the rocks loose? And what what size are they? Uh, one of them is huge. Um, like maybe like a boulder, uh, twenty feet maybe. And and uh, loose, I think might not be the right word, but yeah, separate no. from yeah. No. Anything's they're, loose. Uh, but they're not. Are are they separate from from the um. Uh, from the structure of the river itself, like is it a boulder that has been lodged there, or is it a boulder that happens to be like a part of the whole structure? Um. It. Is uh, my aim is to enlarge it, possibly. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work. It only last a minute. I'll, I'll I'll be like openly considering this. Um, I could make that boulder larger, larger and launch before. Um, it will only oh. last for a minute. I, I don't know if sixty seconds will give us, you know, enough time. You actually might want to reduce it. I mean, just uh, keep in mind, this is just, like, what I'm thinking, right? Because, like, when you put your finger on a hose, right, it makes the pressure stronger. <laughs> ah, yeah. So I think we might want to do the opposite, and the more rocks that we remove. Actually, that is a good point, thinking about it. The more rocks that we remove, the, like, slower it might go. Possibly. 
Well, damming rivers makes the flow slower. Oh, or, or stops true. It. No, very, and very there's true. a thinner bit down there that we could do some damming. We already have an ice bridge, though, too. Like, there's... Yeah, you're right. Like, we have a good chance of seeing if we can solidify the ice bridge. That, that might have floated away by now, depending on the temperature of the river. If... If you could reduce that boulder and then move it to the mouth of the river and then when it enlarges again it might block the flow. That'd be smart. Would it also block our passive? Uh there's enough air above it that you would probably be okay. Actually, I may have the stupidest yet most interesting <laughs> Like, okay, so Matt, here's a question. Anyone? No? No? <laughs> I'd be fair, right? But, um, so the river's flowing from here down to here, correct? So far, yeah. Okay. Now, if we were to dig a little bit, could we divert it down to here? It's a lot of digging, but you could certainly try. I mean... It also, is there still the one... No, we have both doors there. Because hmm. we have hmm. to have at least two doors for the grass to climb. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. We could also collapse the bridge here and hope that it leads into the Sphinx room and down into wherever this is. Like, it wouldn't lead directly into the Sphinx room, probably, but it would flow through here. What are you guys saying? I almost just want to jump back in and just get it over with. <laughs> I, I have a misty step as well. I, I can go 30 feet? Yeah, because that's that was my plan. If I jump in and I'm not knocked unconscious, you know what? Do you want to do a buddy hug? We just jump in, have Celia cash us for, but then we all buddy hug and see if we can misty step onto the shore. Can you take people with you when you misty step? Because I don't, I don't think I can. Uh, well, mine's not misty step; it is face step. So let me check. Um, Lyra, do you have a way of getting onto the shore if we, if the current is too strong for us to just get on it normally? Um, could I use Mage Hand to not carry my weight across, but if I'm in the river, to um almost anchor me so I don't drown and keep my keep myself up. No. Mm. It's not what Mage Hand is not part of you. Right? It yeah. functions independently of you. And that's an advantage in a lot of cases and a disadvantage in this case. But it's right. an advantage okay. in more cases than it's a disadvantage. So. Okay. Um do you have your ice powers? Could you like make a little ice block that you could use as a float? <laughs> Maybe. I think well well I could make the bridge as part of doing a favor for somebody so i don't know to what extent i can use stuff like that i could try what do we have what do we have that floats could we like we have that house could we get like planks and just make floaties so we could just i mean you burn the house to ash oh we've yeah. forgotten something that i think is very relevant <laughs> uh how tall is grass dirt? <laughs> Just uh, ride him like a tall. boat. <laughs> eight, eight feet? Is quite tall. He's like uh, 14 feet tall. <laughs> he, can just stand there. Uh, he could just walk through it. Uh, well, I mean, it's deeper in the middle, but he could just walk through it. And we could anchor yeah. ourselves to him. It's probably no big deal to him. Uh, Grastic, do you mind standing in this water to see um, how how it affects you? Like, is it. It's wet. Yeah, but is it is it is the current strong to you? Puts a finger down like a giant finger and just sort of and cold. Can you actually feel that? Are you pulling my leg, buddy? Yes. Aww. And then uh, he just sort of wades into the water. Uh, and he gets to the center of the water, and it gets up to, like, his neck. 
Um, but he doesn't seem to be moving a lot. It's this speed. That may be a great help to us. Um, I think we he could just carry us. Or not carry us, but, you know, keep us corralled and not lost to the current. Celia could dash his form across. Jump in and clothesline him. Bunch of <laughs> yeah, I, I jackknife into into Grastic's arms. <laughs> watch out, watch out. Ooh, RKO. <laughs> okay. So the intention here is to climb on Grastic's like head and <laughs> use that as your anchor to get across. Yeah, I mean I think that um three of you can do that and it's a tight fit. The fourth won't be able to fit though. Um but the fourth will be. Yeah. So already know that right? is going to want to gash his form across. Is that true? Yeah. Cool. Uh, well, it sounds like now's the time to do it. Uh, is that the plan? Everyone's comfortable with this plan? Oh. What uh, an excellent plan. I love it. Uh, I think this is a great plan, and I'm excited to be part of it. So, um, Grastic uh, starts making his way wading down the river. Uh, he starts saying, it is cold. We're almost out of here, buddy. And do you guys want to be on the north side or the south side when you get to the edge? Um, uh, Pineapple said which side was rocky? South side was rocky. North side. Is everyone comfortable with that? The, the non-rocky side. Okay. And Celia, you gaseously form all the way over there. Yeah. And uh, make it. There you guys go. Welcome. Welcome to the north side. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, so there you are. I give Grastic uh, fantastic. Um, I give Grastic two, two rations. Food. So yeah. hungry. Yeah, warm up, buddy. Hopefully that'll help. Just like um, I think while everyone is just like standing at the side, I'm going to try and use control flames to like warm everyone up a bit and make sure that Grastic isn't dripping because otherwise I will get burned again. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, yeah. So you try to warm everyone up a little bit. Uh, can we explore really quick so it's so uh, we don't outlast um, Gash's form so if we need to cross we can just... Yeah, okay, so you start moving relatively quickly. Um, and you make it, of course, there is, unfortunately for you, wham, it is a minor coastline, not substantive. Uh, Grastic, you, you okay with taking us one more time? Just, just across the way this time. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Uh, uh you got some more rations coming to you. Okay. And, uh, yeah, he takes you across to the other side. Because we'll nod to, um, Celia. And you guys yep, make don't it worry about me. where there are rocks. Um, what are those lines on the map? What are those lines? Well, those were the web of spider that was, uh... Ah had its leg ripped out and was stabbed with it. In fact, you're now, Tiss is right next to a spider body. Tiss and Thuriel is spider eggs. Hey, you said spider egg? Body. body. Okay, thank God. <laughs> yeah, if it was an egg, it would have a long sword in it. There's boulders along this that are pretty big and si sizable, yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Wait, you know what? 
I'm just, I'm not even going to trust it. Can I smack a boulder? Yeah, so you move forward to smack a boulder, and from behind the boulder emerges uh, one of the undead trolls that Brukazak told you about, uh, ready to oh. attack. And okay. uh, we're going to take our break. <laughs> well, what a way to initiate combat, boys. <laughs> this bad boy can hold many undead trolls. <laughs>
Hey world, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. If you are enjoying our content, check out some of our other content. We've got shows every Sunday, Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, Sunday is our, uh, get, wow, they're undergoing quite the gauntlet right now. They're fighting through uh, a very intense combat challenge, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, in between the combat sessions, they try to politically manipulate people. It's pretty fun. Uh, Monday is uh, overthrowing a fascist rebel, uh, fascist dictator, but um, also stopping a tidal wave. That happened this week. Um, <laughs> Yay! And possibly an invasion from a godlike force or something. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is our classic old school e dungeon crawl e type thing that we do. And then on Fridays we check out new games and new systems, uh, different types of things, things you might not have heard of before, all sorts of good things, things that we enjoy. Uh, we just finished a five session arc of beneath a cursed moon which is a great game we had a lot of fun playing that marcus uh, who plays tis here uh was running that game and marcus kicked fucking ass and at the end of the day so did we because we took on dracula and consigned his soul to hell is that a fair assessment uh his dad's too and his dad's dracula and his dad too straight to hell straight to hell cursed him Consign him to hell. It was great. Um, and uh, But if that's not your speed, well, conveniently tomorrow, we're changing it up completely. We're going from a dark, gritty, gothic-style thing to um, something totally different. We're going to play a game called Quest, which is simple and sweet and elegant and a lot of fun. Uh, so we're going to be checking that out uh, tomorrow. Uh, for the first time, we're going to build characters and all that good stuff. Should be a grand old time. Um, yeah, good stuff all around. And uh, yeah, lots of lots of lots of fun to be had. Um, okay, well, uh, yeah. As always, I also like to take a moment here to remind everyone that uh, you, yes, you, who are watching this, um, have a degree of privilege in your life. You are, by virtue of just having the internet, better off than many other people. Uh, I think one of the best things that you can possibly do is use that privilege to support and aid others. I think that can really make a huge difference to people's lives. Find out what that means for you. I don't know what your life is, and there's a lot of decisions there. Maybe it's donating time or money or resources. Maybe it's just being there for people uh, when they need it. Um, and maybe part of it is just educating yourself to make sure that you're not asking people to do more than you should ask them to do. Any of those things can and will help in certain circumstances. So please, please, please uh, look for ways to help and support those who are less well off than you. Um, it's a good thing to do. A good thing to be aware of. Now that being said, why don't you all roll initiative? I got a 23. Looks like Zeriel got an 8. Lyra uh, got an 8. Okay. Uh, well, this is going to go really badly. Um, Celia, this is just my head cannon right now, but I think it's about to become the real cannon. You see this coming. The troll, undead troll, uh, pulls out from behind this while Zeriel's like prepping to smack the boulder with his sword, pops out from behind that and just starts like menacing him with a claw. But you see it coming, but are stuck in gaseous form. What do you do? Um, probably, honestly, so yes first response would probably be to yell out a warning not that he, it would make much difference at that point mm -hmm. um but i think that would be like an instinct um mm -hmm. otherwise probably to uh find like safe ground and release her gaseous form okay go somewhere where do you want to move um these are boulders right the yep. circles um so probably behind one of 
You can see there's also like a guy running down, like ah, avalanche. I find that cute. I don't know why I find that cute, but I find that cute. But yes, those are bubbles. Um, that so is probably Indiana behind. Jones, Pardon? That's an Indiana Jones reference, by the way. Ah, I still haven't watched it. <laughs> You haven't watched it in the break since last time we mentioned 80s American culture? Come on. Hey. <laughs> on we could do it like this week in between. Moving. I will. I promise by next Thursday I will be fully glued. <laughs> you and asthma. Uh, I can't I can't speak for uh, asthma. <laughs> <laughs> Not let everybody get off the hook. One here. and three. Two and four don't exist. Okay. And two five that mine. comes out probably. I like two and I like four. That is very cute. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what is what is four? Crystal Skull? That does not exist. What? No, I don't know what you're talking about. No, never. Wait, hold on. No, hold on. Harrison Ford is like the best. Just watch uh, episode nine or whatever. <laughs> episode eight? Yeah. Of Star Wars? Yeah. I'm not oh. going to. Better than Crystal Wars. Skull. <laughs> whenever I um, get into Star Wars debates, I anger like about a third of the world. <laughs> Indiana and then Jones is always. I start been talking aliens. to the people who I didn't anger, and then I anger oh. them. And I start talking to the people that are left, and then I anger them. They're, they're so, not enjoying Star Wars, right? I mean, apparently I'm not. But okay. <laughs> well, you can't anger me because I haven't watched that either. So good, I approve. Um, okay, <laughs> so you are going to hide behind a boulder? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll hide like close enough that I could peek out, but I, I want to be like completely behind it. Um, the like one, a... yeah. Cool. Works for me. And uh, I can't cast a spell and release a spell in the same turn, can I? No. Uh, theoretically, you could, but uh, Gash's form takes an action to break, right? I think it says something. Right. right. Um, so I can cast Bloody Ward as a reaction. Yep. Um, That's like when. So I'll do that. Bosses. It's when the enemies are attacking a friend. It's not a. A reaction doesn't occur on your turn, it occurs on someone else's turn. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll keep that in mind then. I nope. just realized these are trolls. We could... They're undead trolls. Oh, undead trolls. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, we could probably try talking to them, but if they're undead, then that lowers the chances significantly. That is remarkably true. It definitely does. Speaking of lowering the chance significantly, this troll that is undead uh, is going to attack the heck out of you, Zeriel. What? <laughs> Attack one, attack two, attack three. That's a nineteen, and a thirteen, and a twenty. All right, two hits. Two hits. Oh okay. wait, actually, no. I'm gonna cast shield. None hit. Does that make no hits? And no hits. That's what we like to hear. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Another troll comes at you for three more attacks, but your shield is up. If they can hit you at all. 14, 17, natural 20. <laughs> okay, I'll be honest, that one hit. <laughs> uh, that's a crit, and this is the... This is a claw attack. Cool. Uh, doubled. 19 points of slashing damage. Also known as one Lyra worth of slashing damage. <laughs> um okay big one in the back five ten fifteen okay it's gonna come around here I'm going to physically lift this boulder and throw it at tiss tiss how are you doing <laughs> 14 i assume misses you oh wait uh, it does but um we, we rested it rested yeah oh but then we fought the shadow horror i i don't think i healed after you fought the sorry you fought the what the shadow horror shadow horror oh shadow yeah, you didn't, or something. i assume you rested when you left the tomb 
Uh, or not a full rest, though, because... Oh, Diaz, that's right, a short rest. You're right. Uh, so we would have short rested? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to roll those now, then, if that's okay? Sure, yeah, yeah, sure. We apparently forgot. Um, no, 14 doesn't hit. Okay. Then I need both you and Lyra to make dexterity saving throws as this boulder crashes into the ground. Uh, okay, that is a success from Tiss. Lyra, unfortunately, that is a failure. Uh, Lyra, oh, nice. Uh, eight damage as this boulder crashes into the ground and gravel just sprays around in all directions. And... Wow, that's as far as he can get, so he can only attack. Okay, well, he'll attack Tiss again. Uh, sorry, he'll attack Zerial again. Zerial, bite, claw, claw. 21, 26, 22. Oops, so none hit. The 26 doesn't hit? Oh, 26? Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. So, I thought you What's said now with the shield up? 22, 23? Uh, I think it should be, it's 18 plus 5. The 23, yeah, so only the, only the 26 hits. So that is 11 points of damage as another claw rakes across your flesh. Um, that is a bad thing. Lyra. That's pretty true, I'll fairly be too bad. Um, I think I'll use Cover Spray, but I'll try and do it only at the three in front of me and not the one behind Zero, because otherwise I think he'll be included in that cone. Sure, sounds good to me. Can you roll 6d10? Yes. That's a roll, apparently. 37. Unfortunately for you, 37 is not enough to affect any of these creatures. That's fine. Um, so I will use my bonus action to try and hide behind the boulder behind me. Sure. Like that? Yeah. Roll a stealth check for me. Well, a 27 beats their 8, so you're good. Um, yeah, so you are hidden behind the boulder. They do not know that you are there. Um, and all that good stuff. If they hit you, it is incidental, not purposeful. Uh, yeah, you have all the bonuses of stealthing and all that good stuff. Nice. Well done. So, uh, Lyra sprays forth from her hands almost reactively, a, a, a wall of color that just sort of blinds these things, but they blink their eyes and ignore it quickly. As, but when they look back before her, she is gone disappeared behind the boulder. Zeriel, surrounded. Zeriel? Oh, sorry. Uh, let's see. How can I mitigate? I mean, I know backing up behind Tess is definitely the plan, but I do also want to get some attacks in. You could accept the attacks of opportunity then. Yeah, so I guess I'll just, I'll, I'll just straight up bite it. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to get down. So let, let's go. I'm Good. gonna just bust it out. Like I'm just gonna use everything. So uh, let's see. Action surge. Uh, so extra attack, action, surge, boom, and blade. So we have four attacks coming in hot. Um, All on the same creature? Yes. Uh, well, I mean, it, if it dies... Sure, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. It's not going to. Um, you, uh, nice, nice, nice. And <laughs> yes. uh, But that's three hits. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, do you have a preferential target? Do you want to hit one in particular? Um, probably just the one closest to me, and then I'll hit... There's, okay, I was going to say, there's three that are within five feet of you, so... Oh, cool. um, okay, yeah. Uh, and then I also have Booming Blade damage on each, so I'll roll one and one for Booming Blade. Or should I roll just all the World Breakers and then the Booming Blades? 
Yeah, uh, so you get two booming blades, not not um, three. Oh yeah, sorry. No worries. World breaker, world breaker, three. world breaker. Cool. So that is 16, 28 so far. And then the booming okay. blades, 10, 38, 49. 49 points of damage to this creature. Uh, and his boom. Nice. Uh, do I heal any off of it? Um, are you injured? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, you will heal. Sorry. Uh, you will heal a 3d8. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bam. And that back up we go. Thanks. It's 59. Okay. And then... This flesh tastes dead. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. We're going to have to do until we can find the witch. And then you're gonna run, or are you gonna stay there? Um, I mean, I don't have shield up still, do I? Not right now. Okay. Yeah. Um. No, I'm gonna stay there. Okay. Tiss. In yeah. the back. Uh, moving up behind Zerial. Swinging on the troll that is at his rear. Okay. Assuming that's a miss. Yep. Oh, actually, I should double check. Let's there see. Yeah, okay, he is. Sorry, I'm just double checking. And a miss. Okay. Um, ugh, I, think that's, I think that's it. Yeah, that's going to be all for now. That was an unfortunate turn. Yeah, very much so. Next turn. Hell yeah. Um, so I'm going to peek out from behind my rock. Mm. Um, how does Zuriel look? Is he still looking okay? Yeah, it looks fine. Looks great. Okay. Uh, looks kind of looks really season. healthy. Kind of looks <laughs> Which... like you do when you utilize someone else's blood. Uh, that's not worrying. Um... <laughs> well, I like go with the fact that you're basically a witch. <laughs> you can give me this. <laughs> So I'm quite a ways away. If each square is five feet. Indeed they are. So I'm like forty feet away from the closest one. Yeah. Yeah. True. Um which means that some of my spells I can't do, which is great. Uh and some of them I can't do because I'll catch Tiss and Zuriel in them. This sucks. Can I move to the other boulder that's like closer to the... Um, there? No, to the other big boulder near the spider webs. Like, Just so yeah. you know, I can increase my... Uh, like, if you're casting a spell that targets me, I can increase my defenses. So don't worry too much about me. Plus, I'm like at a decent health pool, so the chances of you one-shotting me are low. Are you misty stepping there, or are you just walking there? Um. Because if you're misty stepping, gonna... you can't cast another level that you can't cast another level spell, but you can cast hand strokes. Yeah, I was thinking of misty stepping, but realistically, they're not really going to be paying that much attention to me while Zerial and Tis are right in front of them. Mm. So. I'll just try and be quiet. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll just run to that you're boulder. Trying stealth, or are you just trying to be vaguely subtle? I'll, just, I'll try and be vaguely subtle, but honestly, True. it's not. <laughs> Salyu is not a subtle person anyway. True. Um, and then I'm going to use magic missile. Okay. Uh, at the three nearest me. Okay, one on each. Yeah. Okay. 
you have a preference who gets the three? Um, probably the one furthest back. Okay. On its own. And then the other two each take four damage. You have yeah, it's not very much damage, but it's automatic. It works. Yeah. It is the undead troll's turn. You see, as the damage that you just dealt, Celia, fades to nothing, as blood courses through their veins, and they seem to regain some hit points. That worries me. <laughs> oh, I forgot they're trolls. They're undead trolls. Oh, no. Um, you cast a so magic one cool. of the trolls is going to come over here and attack you, Celia. Fab. Of course it is. Three attacks. Bite. Claw. Claw. Uh, can I use shield? You can indeed. What does that raise your AC to? Um, still not much, because I am weak. Uh, oh, 19. Well, 24, 22, and 26 are all still going to hit. Do you still want to use Is that a little point? Why do I even try? <laughs> My life. Don't know. Hit me. <laughs> okay. Um, so the bite first is 1d6. Cool. Six damage on the bite. And then on the claws, 10 and 15, respectively, for a total of 31 damage. That's, that's really fun, you know? That's pretty great. Hey, quick question, guys. Do we just run away? Yeah. I, I mean, like, life. yeah, like, I, it, it would be a terrible idea to just jump in the river. But just jumping in the river sounded pretty nice right now. <laughs> Zeriel, um, Zeriel, you are being attacked. <laughs> Sounds very nice right now. <laughs> 15, 24, 11. Am I being attacked by both or just one? You will be attacked by both. This is just the first set of attacks. Okay, yeah, so I'll cast shield. Okay. Does that block all three of them? Uh, no, uh, it doesn't block the big one. Oh, wait, you're right. Does it not block the big one? It doesn't block. It doesn't block the middle attack. Eighteen point. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so then, if if that's the case, I'll wait. I won't use it yet. Okay, then you are going to take. Oops. You are going to take eleven points of damage, and then the second one's going to attack you as well. Bite, claw, claw. Uh, that's a crit, a hit, and a miss. Uh, I need a Constitution saving throw. That's a success. Uh, so you are not dragged closer to undeath. Alright. Uh, so that's going to be this. That's the undying. 12 plus 11 damage. Alrighty. I think I can see why Brekazai ran away from these things. Uh, and then Tiss, you are going to be attacked as well. That's a crit. Uh, 16 and a 22. Just? Oh, sorry, I thought it was still, um, here you go. Uh, 16 and a 22, yeah, that, that hits for sure. Cool. N um, not the 16, the 22, sorry. 22 hits, great. Uh, can you roll a con save for me on the bite? Can do. Oof. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Tiss. Oh, I have a slight bonus to that. Um, it, I, I believe it's just three uh, from one of my auras. You're a paladin. I don't think narratively I can affect you with this. So I think I'm going to give you advantage. Which means that you get 16 plus three rather than seven plus three. And that means that you are not dragged closer to undeath. But you do take damage. <sighs> okay. Nobody else gets it. Uh, 10 damage and 9 damage. 19 damage total. Yeah, I'm thinking we run, boy. <laughs> Lyra. Yeah. I mean, running seems like a very good option at this point. Um, Let's do this. Uh, 
we just jumped in. I mean, obviously, except for Celius. <laughs> you have another gaseous form, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. If I use burning hands and there's a 15 foot cone, would it affect Celia as well? 15 foot cone is not very far. Uh, just put this yeah, in perspective. Okay. I have no idea what. This. Can you see my arrow? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, think of it as like one square and then two squares and then three squares. That's sort of what it does. Okay. Um, could I. Mm. I'll leave that for now. Okay. Um, I'll just try and shoot an arrow at the closest one. To... Okay, the one that's engaged with Celia or Zero? Uh, once engaged with Zero, because I think you're going against two of them. Yeah, you have advantage on the shot. Uh, I'll see yeah. if I can escape from them, though. That's that's going to be the thing, because I am missy stuff, so you might want to distract the one by Celia, if possible. That's what she said she was doing. Uh, so it'll be 18 to hit, 18 hits. Roll that beautiful damage. And then you want to add your sneak attack damage. Of course. 22 damage in one shot. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, do you want to hide again? Yes, I will stay hidden. Yeah, excellent. I think you just succeed. Um, they literally cannot notice you when you hide. <laughs> you were just too good at hiding for them. They'd have to do a search to find you. Uh, Zerial. All right, Tess. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm I'm out of here. <laughs> Are you coming with me? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking we get back in the water. Yep, I'm just gonna cannonball in. Um, I'm gonna see if I can use disengage and save my uh, what's it called? Ah, it's it's a it's it's a. Oh, face step. Yeah, my face step. Uh, okay. Or I might even. Oh God! Will I be out of their movement range? Is the question. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'll disengage and I only have thirty feet. Let's see. What is thirty feet? Six squares. Yeah. Six. Okay, so I can get basically to. Uh, where Celia is. Uh, let's 5, see. 10, 15, 20, 25. Get oh, I was one. thinking, like, well, yeah, that works too. So. Where do you want to go? Uh, I was six. thinking, like, somewhere around here. I think it was this one that I counted to. Uh, okay, you were here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can get through there. Oh, wait, we. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I didn't know I had to go around them. All you right. can't get through any of these. You can go through Alley, not enemy. Sounds good. So, yeah, I'll just go to where you uh, put it before, Celia. Okay, sorry. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. <laughs> sorry. 30, 30, 30, 30. Yep. 30. Yep, 30. Uh, yes, in melee with the troll or not? Oh, um, sure. In melee. Okay. Uh, that's disengage. That's an action. Do you have a bonus action you want to do? Uh, Second wind, for example. That is true. I have second wind. I could also do booming blade. Or wait. Booming blade does nothing. Because you cast it as part of an attack. Yeah. Uh, are any of my other cantrips bonus actions? No. Action. No. Not All right. Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Tiss. Oh, so on the previous map, there was a staircase. Did we see that by chance? Mm, yeah, roll a perception check. I'll give you advantage since you know what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Not saying this helps. Um, but... There's a staircase down over there. It's behind a secret door, and it's definitely too small for trolls. <laughs> well, there we go. I call that a 
yeah. Um, secret staircase over there, too small for trolls. In the river or in there? Would it be too small for grass to grow? Yes. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Um, the river it is then, I guess, yeah. Well, that staircase led um, back to um, like our original location, so we want to go possibly deeper in. Um, you mean it would lead back to where we met uh, Brukazek? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so that's yeah, like not going to give us any progress. It'll keep us away from the trolls, but it won't make progress. Um, yeah, I'm thinking in, in the river, probably. Okay, uh, let me see what I can do. Um, <laughs> run and pray. <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's it's pretty bad, partner. <laughs> you think about taking those attacks of opportunity? Yeah. Um, I I will not though. I'm gonna disengage. Uh, as sure. an action. What's the dash action? Sorry. They, they get. Do they get one attack each, or was it two? One attack each. On your if you if you just dis if you just run away without disengaging, you'll take two attacks of opportunity. Did um, Uriel take any? No, because he disengaged. Uh, sure. Yeah, so I can get farther. I'll I'll just. Um, and I'll try to get up to the one that Uriel and oh, yeah, 17 uh, and 13 this is excellent uh, where do you want to go? 25 um, yeah I'll actually just move my 30 if you, you have another 30 feet if you want to dash uh, I'm not sh certain that I do. I, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm gonna cast Moonbeam. Moonbeam. Um, Ooh, nice. As a deterrent, I guess. Uh, I will cast it here, the five foot radius. Um, does it hit that troll? That little corner of him? Yep. Okay. Immediately. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So. When they first enter or when they start their turn, they take 2d10 on a field constitution saving throw. Yeah, they're probably, probably fine. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'll do. Okay. Uh, and I got a 10. That's it. Nice. I'm pretty sure that's a failure. Yeah, I think. Um, Roll that 2d8 damage. Oh, it doesn't go up, does it? No. Oh, it doesn't start until next turn. Oh, sorry. My bad. I shouldn't roll that then. My bad. It's when they enter or when they start their turn there, so I I feel like got it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Tell ya. Um. Uh. Are they using? They're not using weapon attacks, are they? Claws and bites. The blood flows in their veins, though. Yeah. Um. Well, I want to do... I'll change it to a spell card so you can read it. Um, okay. I want to do this spell, but it says I can only do it when they do a melee weapon attack, so... That would, yeah, their claws count as melee weapon attacks, yeah. You're good. Okay, cool. Um, it's, again, a reaction spell. In which case... So you don't have to spend an action to yeah. do it. Um, so yeah. turn when they try and attack. Yeah. Uh, so many options. So many options. Um, nobody would blame. Can you, I see? I can't step back to see the other side of the boulder without disengaging. Can I? Uh, sure you can. You just take an attack of opportunity. <laughs> uh. Also, I don't think I'll survive uh, an attack of opportunity. To corner. So you can see all three trolls. Oh, fabulous. Okay. Cool. Um, in which case, now that Tiss is slightly out of the way, 
I'm gonna use fireball. <laughs> awesome. It's a good choice. Because you, you know I love fireball. I love fireball. Dex saves, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, you're gonna hit three of them. Wow. What's your spell save DC? Um, 15. <laughs> I succeed on all three of them, so I get half damage from this fireball for all three of them. Um, which in this case is 12. But uh, this is more impactful than you think it is. Um, as I will inform you in just a second as soon as your turn's over. Uh, so they all throw themselves over. Dodging out of the way of the fireball. Um, successfully. But uh, then crawl back up to their feet. Magic user! Kill the magic user! <laughs> uh, Sully, do you have anything else that you want to do on your turn? I want to drink a healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it out, right? Okay, so now I have 25 hit points, which may or may not keep me alive. We'll find out. I'm excited. Uh, okay, okay, it's their bye. turn. Uh, really, really important thing. Uh, the one directly in front of you, Celia and Zeriel, uh, you see blood throw, flow through its veins and it recovers some hit points. The other three, though, do not recover any hit points. Something this turn triggered them to not recover hit points. And on top of that, one of those three is inside a moonbeam and already failed a con save. So if you'd like to roll that damage, Tiss. Nice. An additional 10 points of damage. Radiant. Excellent. Uh, okay, well, this one just shouted, kill the magic user. So, Celia, you are going to be attacked by the one that's right next to you. Of course I will. Okay. A 12 to hit. No, that doesn't hit. It doesn't bite you successfully. A nat 20. A 15 to hit. Uh, no, yeah, that does hit. That does hit me. <laughs> Is there a reaction that you'd like to use at this point? I would like to use a reaction. I would like to use human magic grasp. <laughs> okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. When, you, when another creature strikes you, Use your reaction to cast this spell. The blood from your wounds lunges towards the creature. The creature makes a dex save. On a fail, it takes 2d10 necrotic damage and is considered grappled. Oh my god. That's horrific. Um, it is a, you are going to grapple this creature with your own blood. That's, that's horrific. Uh, okay, well, let's roll that dex save. I got a negative one. Um, nice. I'm so proud. So I fail, so if you want to roll that 2d10 damage. 15 damage. Let's do this thing. Okay, grapple, first of all, and then plus 15 damage. Wow, that's that's totally horrific. I love it. Uh, no idea why it's programmed slightly wrong, but that's okay. I still love it. Uh, 15 damage. This thing is not uh, happy about that at all. It is now grappled. That means that its attacks against you are disadvantaged. So this last attack... Uh, against you is going to be a disadvantage. So it gets an 8. Or also known as a natural 1. To be fair, I also cannot move now. But, you know. Fair enough. But, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Paralyzing it doesn't seem bad to me. Um, <laughs> okay, it's the rest of their turns. Um, this one's going to throw a boulder. Uh, right there. Uh... It'll do that. Um, I think it's throwing it at Zeriel. Zeriel. Does a 16 hit? No, it does not. Great. Then Zeriel, Celia, and Tiss. I need you all to make deck saves. Um, considering my movement speed is zero, um, <laughs> can I make a deck save? Is that a thing? Ironically, Dex is not contingent on movement. 
Uh, Celia, you succeed your deck save, so you take no damage. <laughs> On the other hand, Tiss, you both fail your deck save. And you both take nine points of damage. I think I think Zeriel passes if fourteen passes because he because he has plus three. Oh, or, he's got a plus three. Too. Yes. Is he, is he within ten feet? Is that are we counting that as yep. ten feet? Okay. Yep. Yeah, five foot squares. <laughs> and Pythagoras doesn't exist, guys. Don't forget Pythagoras doesn't exist. In the end, I just couldn't save myself. Uh, ten damage. <laughs> uh, nine. Okay. Um and. Yeah, this gun's gonna go through the light as well and roll that con save. Seventeen on the con save against you, zero. Uh, against you, Tis, Sorry. Yeah, that passes. I, I forget if it's half. It's half damage then. Okay. Yeah. Level twelve almost always do half damage, except for this. Okay. Mm, that's half to eight. Nice. Oh yeah. Eight. Gotta love it. Uh, but there are going to be six attacks against you. Twenty-one to hit. hit. Eighteen to hit. Eight to hit. Twenty-one hits. Okay. Seven damage, and can you roll a con? Oh no, you're a paladin. Uh, roll a con save at advantage. Seven damage, you said. Yes, yeah, seven damage. You're fine. Second set of attacks. Twenty-three to hit. Fourteen to hit. Nine to hit. Three hits. Okay, and again a con save. That advantage. Okay, and six damage. Bite is nasty, but it seems to be not that nasty to you. Uh, okay, that is their turns. Lara. Um, before we do anything, are we planning on running away? <laughs> That's what I've been wondering for like the past turn. <laughs> <laughs> because where whereabouts would Grastic be in all of this? On the map. Uh, Grastic is back there. Let's give him, let's give him a token. Because, like, I could commit some stuff to this, but, like, only if we're planning on fighting, which, uh, I don't know, guys. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be the worst. If we can't go up the river, we could just go down it, I guess, from the other side. Because that yeah. would still be escaping. Um. Well. If we like, if the three of us got onto Grassic and Celia did uh, Gassia Swarm, if we use invisibility on Grassic and he's carrying us, does that count as us turning invisible as well? There's a ruling on this, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. Let me check. <laughs> It says anything the target is wearing or carrying is invisible. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, <laughs> on a technicality. Is, um, are you being carried in a mechanical sense? I think due to size difference, probably. Yeah. Mm, like, if it were, like, a person carrying another person, I think that would be out of the question. But since it's a giant carrying a human, I don't know. It's kind of like carrying a small dog. Crawford says rules as written is uh, that uh, you count as being carried. Uh, he says that he regrets it. It should say any object that you are carrying, not anything that you are carrying. But uh, let's change it now. And I agree. So yes, that would apply. Uh, would you guys be up for trying that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> awesome. So do, you, do we want to try and go back the way we came? Bearing in mind that we will have to be going upstream. And I don't know how he will cope with the rapids, even though he is quite large anyway. Just go upstream. I mean, we're already this far. We might as well just keep going. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I mean, if, if that's cool with everybody okay. else. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, because, like, we only have, like, how many gaseous forms on uh, Celia now? Um, I can only do it twice. No, I can only do it once more. Yeah. Because I use fireball. Oh, I can <sighs> I can do it again once if I use a fourth level spell slot. Yeah. So, I think like that is our trip there, and then our trip home. <laughs> at yeah. Best. 
Um, I mean, ideally, you want him to be visible so you guys know where to run to. Oh, um, yeah, we could wait until we get there. So, should we wait until your next turn to be able to move to him? Let's set this up now so that um, it will move. He, so, he follows your instructions and moves into the water. Uh, mm -hmm. you, I think the plan right now uh, for Mary Lyra is to have you cast, you want to cast invisibility on him? Is that your intention? Uh, then yeah. let's do that at the start of your next turn. Have you like okay. attack, like do what you want to do this turn and then charge into the water, land on him and then say, everyone, come on. Right, that's sort of, I okay. think. Yeah. Okay, cool, that works. Uh... Okay. Um, in that case, I think I'll come out of my little hole, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll go closer to this troll in the middle. Okay. Um, and I'll use burning hands. On nice. Him. Uh, I will just put this in my thing again then. Okay, it's a dex save. He's gonna fail that, I think. Five. So you want to roll that, um, what is it, 2d6, 3d6, 3d6? Nice, 11 points of fire damage. He does not like that at all. He seems to particularly dislike fire damage. Uh, and I think I'll use my bonus act. If I dash away from him, does he get an attack of opportunity? You're not in melee. Oh, OK. Um, then I'll just dash towards, I guess, where Grostic is, but in that general direction where they can still see me. Okay. Yeah. You happy with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Zerial, the creature in front of you is grappled by blood. Mm -hmm. Yay. Oops, sorry, I was muted. Uh, so I get advantage on these attacks. Huh. E. Uh, that's absolutely fantastic because uh, that that's that's a wombo combo with this boy right here. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So it's something I've never actually used because I was planning on using it later with hold person, but mm -hmm. uh, today we're kind of figuring this out. Let's think about now. Uh, so element accuracy essentially means that I get triple advantage when I have advantage. <laughs> Which is absolutely broken. So I will not miss any of these attacks. We may as well just roll for damage, but we're going to do them anyways. Well, I want to see if you crit on, on all of them. True. Uh, that would be amazing. So let's see. I am going to Booming Blade, extra attack, and then I just don't have my action surge, so it's only two attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, two attacks, one Booming Blade, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, so let's do attack. attack. 20. All right. Do you want to roll two more d20 for me just to see if 26 is beaten on either of those? <laughs> sure, sure, it will. Gee, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I only rolled 17s and 18s. Oh, well, oh, uh, shame. Still pretty good. Uh, so those will hit without a doubt. All right, and then let's roll for damage and booming blade. And plus 10. And as you know, with Booming Blade, my homebrew rule is that if he uses his reaction to attack you, he triggers the other part of it. So uh, is that your cue to run away? Uh, yes. Also, do I heal? <laughs> Currently, uh, I'm at 25. Do, you heal, uh, in this case, uh, 2d8. Okay. And he will use his reaction to attack you. 17 to hit. Does not hit. Okay. Uh, he misses. He triggers the other half of Booming Blade if you want to add that extra D8 advantage. Alrighty. Uh, let me just check what that is, just to make sure. Let's see. And do it from damage. Damage target takes from moving increases to 2D8. I want to check if that is a 2D8 as well. That is, so we just roll it twice. Nice. Five points of damage. All right, and where are you moving to? I am moving directly to Lyra. I am out of here. <laughs> so, sorry, fellas. Okay, Tiss, you're up. 
Uh, to my left, that's that's a boulder. Yep. And in front of me, that's a boulder. Yep. <laughs> you are definitely trapped between a rock and a rock. And two uh, trolls. And a um, troll and a troll. And a troll I'm is a troll. And a rock <laughs> is a rock. And we ain't got no rocks, though. and we ain't got no troll. Uh, could I maneuver through the two, in the two uh, boulders? If you would like to attempt to maneuver between the two, I would allow that. Um, alternatively, if I move between the two smaller ones, it'll be a normal movement, but I take two opportunity attacks. Or I take them anyway, huh? Yeah. Oh wait, do they get them? Because they use their uh, reactions. Or what one do of them do. The uh, one used it on attacking Zerio. That would be the one next to Celia that you're not in melee with. Yes, you're right. Okay, never mind. Um, no worries. I, oh, I was feeling so much more confident when I had um, more than less than half my po hit points. Um, not gonna drop Moonbeam yet, uh, but I am gonna take those attacks of opportunity, go between those two boulders. I think probably move up to Celia. Okay, Let's see if you get hit. A 16 and a crit. Uh, he had a crit hit. Okay. This will also affect your concentration. Uh, 23 points of damage. I need you to roll a constitution saving throw to maintain your moonbeam. Oh, that is so, so much damage. Um, it's going to be plus three. 17. You're fine. Okay. Easy. Um, uh, okay, so I have that as, uh, you were here, five, ten, where do you want to go? Uh, next to us, Oh, fifteen, okay. You can move fifteen feet. And then what do you want to do? Uh, with Celia's permission, I would like to pull her away from the troll. Celia, do you object? You're muted. Sorry. Um, can he do that? Because won't the troll just come with me because I'm grappling it? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you want to do that. Would it be like, um... So there's blood that's, like, literally pouring out of Celia and wrapping around the troll. And it's her blood. That's a new... Yeah. Um... And it's a direct tether. Like, if I pull her, I'm pulling the troll as well. With, with its yeah. weight along with it. Okay. Um... I, I didn't take an action, did I? Nope. Okay, I'm attacking. Attack the troll. Come on. Nice. Uh, you have an advantage on these. But an 11 is not good enough. I'm trying to think if I have nothing. A 21 is good enough. Awesome. Uh, I'm also you're dumping um, there. Where's that? Divine smoke. Okay, you get an extra die because it is undead. Uh, I'll do level 2 as well. Okay. Yeah. 48, I believe. Plus your longsword. 28, nice. Plus the longsword. Five. Uh, okay. Well, I am okay with that. You know why? Sally, you're free. This creature is dead. Yeah. Um, are, we, are we running away? Is that the thing now? Because... Uh, I, mean, I can't do that. I can not so, Uh, Tiss, do you want to do any other movement or anything on your turn? Oh, can I can I drag Celia now? Yeah. Uh, you've got uh, two more squares. So you get that. With, okay. yeah, that. Yeah, that looks perfect. Just so we're all a little further away from, from the others. Celia. Uh, um, I'm gonna... Gaseous for myself. Okay. Mm, no. Mm, I'm gonna move away, and then I'm gonna gaseous for myself. 
Okay. Uh, because I move very slowly and I'm made of gas. Okay. What do you want to move? Um, to next to Lyra. Can I do that? Yep. Um, yeah, and then I'll gaseous my form myself. Okay. I gave you little gaseous form wings. Oh. <laughs> okay. Spirit Lyra. <laughs> Uh, Spirit Celia, sorry. And uh, that's your turn? The yep. entirety of your turn? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, two of these things start inside of the moonbeam, so let's roll for that first. 14 and 9. Six points of radiant damage to both of them. I believe the 14 passes. That might be my... Oh. Or... Well, then, 3. Yeah, 14 passes. Never mind then. Uh, yeah, so three and six radiant. Okay. Um, then we've got the regaining hit points portion of the turn. Some of them regain hit points, but not all. And unfortunately, the one that falls down pops back up. Mm -hmm. He was dead. That was dreadful. But not for long. Good thing we were running away. Yep. Uh, and the one in the back says, Kill them for the mistress. Yep. All right. We got to kill the witch. <laughs> uh, and it's going to throw a rock at you guys. Wha bam. Oh, that's Lyra. Lyra, does a 26 hit? Absolutely. I'm just, Lyra, if you get one shot by a rock, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I mean, I have four hit points left now. Okay. Uh, and I need deck saves from um, everyone on grass deck. Or everyone, uh, I guess, Sally, you are incorporeal, so this will not affect you. But Zerial, I need a deck save. And That's Lyra, true. I need a deck save. That is a success. That is a success. Neither <laughs> take gravel, gravel damage. Um, it doesn't say that I don't take dex throws, it just says that I have advantage on them. Oh, so well, then you make a dex throw as well. I suppose I would. Maybe I should have said that. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> this, what's the range on your bonus? Uh, just 10 feet. Okay. Uh, that would be 15 points of damage. That's halved, though, because you're incorporeal, so it's 7 points of damage. It's a non-magical attack. Uh, and we are going to gang up on Tiss. Tiss is going to go down. Unless they roll really, really, really bad. Is there anything we can do for him? Is there anything I can do for him? Have grass like drag me. I've got... Oh my god. This is going to knock you down, Tiss. Yeah. I got nothing here. I can see that happening. Right. Yeah. Nice. 22, 26, 9. Uh, 22 and 26 hit. Okay. Uh... 9 and 7? No, 9 is one of the hits. Or yeah. one of the attacks. 7 damage and then 9 damage? Uh, the 9 takes me down. Okay. Uh, then one of these people is going to grab Tiss's body uh, hmm. and start dragging Tiss away. Ah! <laughs> and I think the rest of you will escape Sans Tiss back up the river. Okay, so question. Um, we had already determined that, like, technically objects can be teleported with face stuff, but, um, can people be? No. Okay. Uh, by the way, the stupidest way to deal damage that I uh, kind of found out is if I were to take a boulder that weighed 50 pounds and I were to just kind of clutch it to my stomach, okay. face step 30 feet up into the air, mm -hmm. and then drop down on a troll, that would be a combined weight of uh, 200 pounds. 200 oh. pounds is exactly 30 feet to get the maximum damage of, let's see here, 
twenty d six. Nice. <laughs> so easy twenty d six. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, Tiss has been kidnapped by the witch. Oh, not oh another God. person. <laughs> Gotten another kidnap victim here. Um, and you guys make it back up the river uh, to figure out what you guys are going to do next. It's a little early, guys, but I feel like that is um, the stopping point. Uh, if I'm sorry to say that, because uh, I'm just having a grand old time. But uh, I think that might be the end of this, uh, the end of the episode. Uh, how does that feel to everyone? I'm I feel I kind of wish I got a hold person off on the troll carrying test, but after I don't think it's Might narratively not. at this point. Yeah. Um, hold monster, maybe. And should we go up the river or down the river? Like, I thought we were going further in. Uh, do, yeah, you, so I, okay, uh, sorry, let's clarify that. Um, uh, did you, uh, you go across the river? Well, I was thinking, like, we go further. Oh, if you <laughs> want to go further in, uh, the witch will change the direction of the river. Oh, okay. Yeah, then, I, what do you guys think? Um, I mean, now that we've been captured, I don't know if we should go back a little bit to heal up and stuff, and rest, and then go back again to face both the trolls and the witch. Yeah. Is it safer on the opposite side as opposed to, like, for camping? Yes. Yeah. I'm thinking, like, the little alcove that we have here is probably best. Okay. Then we will leave you there for now and figure out what is next next time. Um, but let's hand out some experience points. Uh, not a lot today, but we will see what that amounts to. Uh, overcoming a river. You know, overcoming a river seems like a lot to me. Um, I'm going to call it a major challenge. What level are you guys? Eight. Eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And then uh, undead encounter with trolls uh, escaping. That sound right? Mm. Yeah, for the most of us, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, okay. Well, I'm not going to say that it was the most successful uh, adventuring day of all time. Um, but uh, is there anything else that I should be rewarding you guys for? No? Oh, uh, Secret Passage into the Church? Get that? Oh, good call. Thank you. Um, plus. Okay. Uh, anything else? Okay. Then everyone take 1,015 experience points. Sorry, one more time. 1,015. Okay. Six forty-six five. Thirty-six thousand four hundred and sixty-five. That sounds right to me, although I will trust your math over mine all any day. Oh, I used a calculator. <laughs> I trust your calculator over my head. Well, oh, have calculators with you everywhere you go. You need to learn how to do it longhand style. <laughs> in cursive. <laughs> Cursive is practical and you'll need it in everyday life. <laughs> no comments. Okay. Well, that was a little bit of a dour downer of an episode. But, um, you know, that happens sometimes. Uh, Marcus, how you doing? I've been kidnapped. <laughs> yeah, no, I would have rather been kidnapped than our party mob. Like, I, I don't know what to do. I'm lost. <laughs> Well, Marcus, you and I can talk and figure out what seems appropriate and fun to do for next time and all that good stuff. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Tiss has been kidnapped by the witch uh, and her undead trolls, which is uh, I, yeah. 
Did we know that before? I, I didn't realize before uh, just now. Nope. That, okay. Uh, that is exciting to me as a player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're not <laughs> random trolls. They're her trolls. They're her undead trolls. Right. Um, although, admittedly, you don't know that it belongs to the witch, but they said, you Mistress. know. Yeah. Mistress. So that implies yeah. something. Um, we now have okay. another reason to kill her. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we didn't have enough. You missed off that witch. Like, I'm gonna be carrying, like, that heavy rock down the river, and I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna squash that witch. <laughs> carrying a boulder down the river. Okay, I got it. I got it. Jump up! Son of a, son of a bitch, let's take my friend for you. <laughs> love, it. love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, well... Uh, with all that said and done, I guess that's where we'll call it today. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope uh, that you are okay and that you are not emotionally uh, traumatized by the horrific events of today's stream. Um, if you are, well, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I highly recommend you talk to someone about that. I'm around. Uh, I can talk to you probably if you're horrifically scarred by today's stream. But just in general, general, um, you know, uh, try to live a good and happy life and uh, protect your tiss because not protecting your tiss sucks. Uh, when Tiss is your protector. Um, yeah, go live a good and happy life. And as always, don't forget to call your cat and feed your mom. Bye, everyone. <laughs>